With St. Patrick's Day here, ooh, here we go. A lot of you might be taking on a tradition that we know very well here in Buffalo. Eating green bagels. Kevin O'Neill gives us the rich green history behind the bagels and how the tradition carries on decades later. I apologize for the scruff. I'm not shaving until the Sabres win. Uh, green bagels are a fun, lighthearted tradition, but Jay Gershberg, Bagel Jay, kind of sees a deeper meaning behind this year's batch of green bagels. He started that restaurant and also Bagel Brothers back in the 70s, and he kind of pioneered the green bagel tradition in Buffalo back in 1977. So we've done it every uh, year since, and uh, last year was a tough time. But you know what's great about St. Patrick's Day here in Western New York is the better. It's the beginning of springtime. It means fun, and all of a sudden winter's over. And now we have a year of difficulty that things are over and better. And uh, hopefully things are lightening up, and people are healthy and uh, starting to enjoy life at a full level again. They don't taste any different than the other delicious bagels, but you can make them taste Irish. Since it's St. Patrick's Day, I would have a corned beef. We have our corned beef special going on a bagel. How appropriate on a green bagel this next day or two. Hey, it's another chance to celebrate the great melting pot that is Western New York. We've done Western New York proud. We're local. We're proud to be local. Come on in. If you've never been here, give us a chance or give us another chance. We hope to make you happy and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks to uh, Nate Benson for the video. Thanks to Jay Gershberg for the interview. Bagel J, three locations in Western New York. BagelJays.com is the website. Happy St. Patrick's Day. For Channel 2 News, I'm Kevin O'Neill.